Mike Van Deren with Vectors Inc. Uh, coming at you guys with another question we get uh, at the office very frequently. Um, it's when people need to update firmware on their receivers and how do I go about doing that? Uh, so the example we're going to do today, uh, got an R8S here. Uh, we're going to pop some new firmware in. Uh, thought it would be important to cover which cables to use uh, when doing this. All these are going to be updated through the Trimble Installation Manager. Uh, which I know we've done a couple videos on uh, as far as updating collectors. Same kind of process. Uh, for most of the receivers out there, most of them will use a cable like this. This is USB on one end and 7-pin Limo on the other. So this will go into port 1 in the back of your receiver. Uh, and then we simply put a battery in it and open Trimble Installation Manager. Uh, some of the other cable options, I know there's uh, uh, quite a few companies out there that use them. Uh, the R2 receiver uh, much simpler design, uh, fantastic receiver, uh, repeatable, um, but is rover only. Um, so this one here is going to be a mini USB on one side and standard USB on the other, uh, same as your TSC3 download cable. So that might be a cable you would need to update firmware if you guys have R2s. And then last one here, uh, this would come with the R10 uh, or the R10 Model 2 or R12s. <clears throat> this is a 7-pin Limo connection as well. Uh, the only difference is there's another um, rib here, if you will, uh, key that lines up with the keyway in the receiver. So the R10 has two ports uh, on the bottom. You've got a standard 7-pin Limo connection on one side. Uh, it's got a black ring around it, and then there's another port next to it, and it has two keyways, uh, which is used with this cable. Um, and this would be the download or program cable. So this one would be for R10s, R12s, and then R6s, R8s. Uh, it's just going to be a standard 7-pin Limo to USB connection. Uh, this is not a standard cable that comes uh, with new equipment. If you guys are needing a download cable, I always advise having one at the office. You guys can reach out to us. Uh, we always keep those in stock. And then again, if you're running an R2, standard TSC3 uh, mini USB. Uh, cable. Uh, I'll go ahead and change over to uh, our other software and I'll walk you guys through so you guys can see what this looks like and we'll get this R8S updated. Alright, so I've got my R8S uh, with battery in it and plugged in with the program cable uh, into my laptop and all I'm going to do is open Trimble Installation Manager. So this will take a second to fire up. So first thing you're going to want to check, you just need to click on this receiver tab. Uh, as I mentioned before, these are the different GNSS uh, antennas you guys can connect to and update through the Trimble Installation Manager. This is also the place where you can update your data collectors, uh, as well as your S-Series total stations and the SX-10. So all I'm going to do is hit connect down here in the bottom right. And so what this is doing is establishing a connection with the R8S. Takes a second uh, in order for this to happen, so we'll give it a moment here. And see up top here, it's just trying to make a connection. Just about there. It's a nice thing to do uh, on a weekend, depending on how many crews you have. See if everyone can drop everything off, spend a day, get everyone up uh, up to date on firmware. Here we go. So what you'll see uh, here, uh, it will show you the serial number of the unit. And what it's doing is getting a list of uh, different firmware versions that uh, we can put on this receiver. So up here in the top right, Here's all the different firmware versions available for the R8S. Um, the latest release is at this point in time is going to be 5.46. Uh, so I'm going to have that selected. This receiver has the option for both base and rover configuration. Um, one thing worth mentioning here, if you guys click in on one of your receivers and it does not say latest release on the top, it simply means your receiver is no longer under software warranty. Uh, we would love to help you guys out with that if you want to uh, stay current with your warranties on your GPS receivers and keep up to date with all the latest you know, bug fixes. But if you do not see latest release, give us a call. We'll see what we can do to help you guys out or get your receiver back under warranty. Uh, that initial process uh, when there was kind of a progress bar here, 
it was basically pinging Trimble's server to look up and update the, the warranty date. So if you guys purchased a warranty recently uh, for your receivers, it'll also update that uh, the warranty date in the receiver itself. So anyway, with this chosen here, there's nothing else we have to do other than make sure down here at the bottom, Trimble R8S firmware is selected. Um, there are some options here to upgrade. These are other options available for this receiver. And then we also have device information. So this will show you your uh, warranty expiration date. Uh, this will also show you which firmware version it's currently on. Uh, it will let you downgrade uh, to a certain degree. You can notice that here. And then this will also show you your radio configuration, uh, channel spacing, and your frequencies uh, that have been installed. Anyway, so with these uh, options here chosen, all we have to do is hit install in the bottom right here again. This will tell you you're, you're about to update the firmware in the receiver. The warning it's showing you is if you have any static files on there, it's going to erase them out. So when I agree to that, it's basically going to go ahead and start the firmware update process. It takes a couple minutes, and uh, I'll come back with you guys once this is finished up. And that's it. About uh, 15, 20 minutes later, uh, firmware has been upgraded. All it will show you up here is your device is up to date and ready to use. This receiver's now been updated. I can go ahead and grab another one and get started on it. All right, so the last situation I want to uh, run you guys through here is let's say you've got a field crew out of state and I know it's pretty typical um, customers take the program cable out of the R10 cases and stuff them in a drawer at the office so what happens when we run into a situation uh, where we're having technical issues updating firmware might be the resolution to that problem but the cables at the office and you're two three states away or a couple hours away and that isn't an option with the R10s uh, and the R2, uh, we have a web UI we can use um, in order to update firmware uh, from a laptop with these. Uh, so I wanted to show you guys that on this R10 here. Threw in the battery, powered it up. I'm just going to set it on the desk here. And first thing I'm going to do is come into my Wi-Fi settings here. Uh, this receiver ends in 0531. So I'm going to go ahead and connect to it. So we're going to connect to this. Come on. I've had to do this on uh, many occasions uh, on the phone with certain customers. Uh, definitely is a nice trick to have in your tool bag. Um, actually did this uh, with a customer using his cell phone. All right, so we are connected here, and all I'm going to do is open up a new web page, and let's see here, 192.168.142.1. So here we're connected to the Trimble R10. It's going to ask you for a username and password, and on this, typically, admin and then password. So I'm now logged in to the receiver here. So here's your security settings here. Um, receiver configuration, if you guys haven't played, I'll do a specific video um, on the web UI, maybe at a later date, because there is a, a lot of really uh, cool things in here you guys can tweak with. Um, all right, so in here, we've got a firmware tab down at the bottom, and this will show you the current version of the receiver you're uh, connected to, and then some warranty date information. Here's where we can install new firmware in this R10. Uh, we have to download the file first. I wanted to show you guys how to connect to it. Uh, now I'll show you how to um, download the firmware itself, and then we just browse to it. It's kind of as simple as that. So, all right, so in order to download the firmware for the R10, I'm going to open Trimble Installation Manager again. Uh, this is the process we went through earlier through Receiver. Uh, and again, if I don't have the cable, I can use this download button up here in the top right. And this is going to be on an R10 receiver. Make sure you pick the right receiver. And here's the firmware itself. 
and I can download this to then use later. So if I download the firmware here and throw this on the desktop, which will work just fine. Let's move that up a little bit more, hit OK. So what we're going to do is we're going to download the firmware. Uh, you can also do this to install at a later date. So here it is, the TIMG file, which is what we need on the web UI. So hit finish here, and then I need to change my Wi-Fi settings back over to the receiver itself. All right, so now that we're connected, I can go back into my web UI here, and then choose File. Oops. Here's our R10 firmware, so R10 5.46. Here's the TIMG file, which is the firmware itself. So once I select that, hit Open, Simply just hit install. Same warning uh, as before. This will just tell you it's going to delete out uh, all your static files. Go ahead and hit continue. And then you'll notice down here at the bottom, it says uploading. It's probably going to be about another 15, 20 minutes. It'll tell you when it's finished. Um, and that's how you update a R10 uh, via the web UI. Hope that was helpful. And uh, look forward to continuing to put on these videos for you guys. Uh, help educate you on some of these tips and tricks we've learned. Uh, through support. This will enable you guys to set yourself up for success, troubleshoot kind of some of your own problems, so you kind of know how to resolve these things on your own. Um, it's been a fun one here. So again, just going to wait about 15-20 minutes. This one should be finished up, and I'll grab another receiver off the shelf. Look forward to working with you guys more.